Okay, so now that we have the CentOS um, server installed, let's see if we can set up the network interface cards to pick up network addresses like we want to configure. So the goal was to have the CentOS server with two NICs, one that will pick up an IP address from the wireless network, right? So we're looking to try to get a two address from my wireless network here. So something like 2.102. And then we'll manually configure the other um, NIC for the 111 network and we'll give it the address 192.168.111.1 so on the LAN side it'll be this address and then on the WAN side it'll be this address okay I had a little trouble getting my network interfaces on my uh, CentOS server to work uh, through the virtual machine so to troubleshoot it what I did was is I went to my network connections control panel network and internet network and sharing center um, basically network connections and then I activated my or undisabled right enabled my LAN connection so that my wireless connection is active and my LAN connection and then what I did was is I went into my computer into the C drive into the program files folder into the VMware folder so then I went back into the VMware folder to the VMware player and launched that tool again that I said is so handy the vmnetcfg.exe which you have to which doesn't install by default when you install the VMware player once again you have to extract it from the installer um, or extract the folder from the installer and then copy and paste it into your program files folder directly and what I did was is on the bridged connection now I can see that there's a choice between my gigabit controller right which is my Ethernet connection and then this is my Intel Centrino advanced and you can see it says AGN right so that'd be wireless A wireless G wireless N I'm guessing anyway and so I I used that I made sure I checked it again clicked OK anyway now everything seems to be working a lot better so now when I launch my VMware player let's see this is our new CentOS machine right here we'll play it start it up and see if it will pick up an IP address from my wireless router alright we'll click OK you can see that this virtual machine has the two NICs right here right with green lights so ETH0 and ETH1 and it tells you that one is bridged and the other one isn't alright alright so we'll log in and see if we can get this to work okay here it is now if we look up here you can see this is our network connection tool up here in the upper right hand corner if I click on it it says that there's no network connection we've got a red X so we haven't picked up an IP address but you can see we have ETH0 and ETH1 right so ETH0 is set to bridged mode and this is the one that should be picking up an IP address automatically so we'll just click on it and we'll get it to start broadcasting and you can see that it picks up an IP address right away now that's the way it should work for you as well if I go to applications now system tools terminal and I type if config you can see that I've got eth0 and I also have eth1 and that eth0 has picked up an IP address from my wireless router at 192.168.2.104 but ETH1, which is in a different mode, it's not in bridged mode, did not pick up an IP address. So, so this is perfect. So, so far, so good. So right now, what we can do is we can configure, we can configure ETH1 directly. So I'll just say if config ETH1, and I'll set it up with an IP address. So if config ETH1 192.168 168.111.1 and I get a permission denied because I need root access okay should remember that so I'll do a su dash and put in the root password and now I'll do it again if config 
ETH1 with the IP address that I want. I don't put in a subnet mask because it will default for the classful su uh, subnet mask for a 192.168 network. So it'll be, or for a 192, a number starting with 192. So it'll default to a 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. So I'll just hit that. And now I have my IP addresses configured. I have my ETH0 on the red side or the WAN side and I have my ETH1 at 111.1 .1 on the LAN side. So if we go to our picture, I've now picked up an IP address over here. I picked up 2.104, and I manually configured 111.1. .1. And so it looks like we're almost ready to go. Now to test this out, we need to open up a second client that we can then configure to be on the 111 network. So I'll go to this Fedora 16 VM machine that I have set up and before I boot it up this is a second virtual machine that I have already set up I'll go over to its network interface adapter and I'll change it from NAT mode here to LAN segment and I'll set it to network 111 and I'll click OK and then I'll fire up this machine and then we'll see if we can get it talking on the 111 network. All right, we'll click OK. OK, it started up. So here is the Fedora machine right here. And we'll just log in really quickly to it. All right. Okay, so it's trying to pick up an IP address and it's not picking one up. So let's see if we can edit these connections because we're not running a DHCP server yet on our router machine, right? On our Red Hat CentOS machine, we're not running a DHCP server yet. So we're not handing out IP addresses just yet. So what we can do is right here, we'll go to this wired connection. We'll hit edit, IPv version four. And for the moment, we'll just really quickly manually set up an IP address to see if we can get it to talk. 168.1.111 and we'll give it let's say the dot 10 address and we'll give it a slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. We'll make the gateway on it 11.1 .1. Right, and click add. So there it is. It's been manually configured. We'll delete that one. There it is. 11.10 and 11.1. .1. We'll give it some DNS servers. We'll say 4.4.2.2, comma 8.8.8.8. So we'll set up two DNS servers there, public DNS servers. That is and we'll hit save and close and system tools terminal and we'll see if we can ping the router alright and we can't alright we'll try again and there it is I, I saw a little uh, flash up here so it looks like we can talk to the router. So we've just pinged 111.1, .1, right? And we've set up our IP address as 111.10. So we've done it. We've set up, or I've set up, a Fedora host over here at 111.10. And I set up the CentOS server on 111.1. .1, and they're communicating with each other and he's able to, this computer is able to ping 11.1. .1. So it's behind the router. Now, if I try to ping the actual wireless router, I can't. So I'm receiving right now um, access, right? Or I'm able to communicate only between the CentOS server 
right? I'm only able to communicate right now between this Fedora virtual client and the CentOS server, right? Does not see the wireless router on the outside. So it's it's on a private network, on a virtual private network between the CentOS proxy server and this Fedora machine. So we're all set up and we're ready to go.